So today I'm really excited. Um, I'm filming a Korean beauty haul and right now I'm in Seoul, South Korea. So I'm so excited. Um, I have two things that I want to do here. I want to eat everything and I wanted to buy like a ton of makeup to test out. But let me just back up a little bit. Okay. Um, first things first, I just want to apologize. The angle of filming, the sound because I'm outside, and the lighting isn't awesome because um, I didn't bring my big camera with my tripod. I brought a smaller camera. But I really, really wanted to show y'all what I got because I was just so excited to get the beauty products. Okay, um, if you want to see my Korean beauty haul, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so um, I went to this area. I think it was, I forgot what it was called. They had a bunch of beauty stores. And so I knew I wanted to go to a Etude House. And also really quick, um, before I left, I was watching videos and recommend about recommendations for Korean beauty products. So look at my paper. Yeah, I wrote a ton of stuff down. So um, I wanted to try out like a bunch of different brands, but the first thing that I got is the Proof 10 Eye Primer. A lot of people were talking about this being amazing and waterproof, so um, I decided to get it and try it out. was the Etude House Precious Mineral Cushion and I've noticed that here in Korea like cushion foundations are huge and I think that's like with a lot of parts of Asia I'm not sure but this is what it looks like um, I don't know if y'all can tell you probably can't because the lighting but my face <laughs> is a lot wider than my body um, I got the darkest shade I got W 24 but as you can tell it's a lot lighter but anyway so it comes with a little sponge y'all probably seen cushion foundations but yeah And I like the way um, that it applied. I'm like bending over. <laughs> I like the way that it applied. It was really smooth, but that might have been um, a mixture of this and then the next thing I'm gonna show you. But yeah, it doesn't really match me and I'm not gonna return it because I don't know how like to go about that. But um, I can just use bronzer. But one thing I wanted to mention was when I was shopping, I really wanted to find a bronzer because Disclaimer really quick, I didn't bring a ton of makeup with me because I knew I was going to be buying a bunch of makeup. So I didn't bring a bronzer because I wanted to try a bronzer here, but I don't think bronzing is very big in Korea at all. Um, I know there are some contour powders and stuff, but when I was looking for a bronzer, I couldn't find one anywhere. So yeah, but I got the cushion foundation. This is the Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. And I put this on my skin like before I did my foundation and I like it. It made like my face really smooth and I'm sorry I'm like kneeling because I don't have a tripod, I don't have anything. Um, but it made my face like really smooth. So I think when I put the cushion foundation on it just like glided right on. But yeah, so I got that. Okay, so back to Etude House. I got three different eyeshadows. Um, I used two in the video. Okay, so I got this. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's not really showing up. There we go. So I got this matte, um, warm brown camel color. It's actually pretty good. I put it in my crease. I like it. The next one I got is this color. I use 
this eyeshadow first on my, I'm like really ducking so I could like get in frame, but I don't have some, okay, whatever. Um, I used this on my eye and it was like really chunky glitter, so I didn't like this one. got looks like this I got this one because it really reminded me of Mac of Mac's amber lights which is like one of my favorite colors so I got this one I haven't used it yet um, I'll probably use it tomorrow and I'll show you a clip or something but yeah this one is really pretty I haven't tried it yet though um, another thing I got from a Etude house is this tear drop eyeliner no, tear, tear eyeliner. And um, you'll see it closer, but basically this is a liner. You can use it any way you want, but um, you can put it like in the tear drop area, or the tear drop, the tear duct area. So I did it like um, right here. I put it a little bit under my eyes and a little bit on top. But this is super pretty and really interesting. So I need to work with it a little bit more to get better at using it, because I don't know what you can tell, it's not too even. But this is a really cool concept. I got that. Um, I think that was it from Etude House. Um, the next place I went to was Skin Food and I got this Rose Essence Cream Blush. First of all, this packaging is so cute. This is the color. And I'm wearing it today. saw a video where someone recommended this and I'm not a huge cream blush person and as you will see in the application like I'm not very good at applying it so I applied it it was a little like it was like really pigmented on this cheek so I kind of had to you know like blend um, and then later I had to go in with a brush and like blend it out but I actually really like the color it's a little bit let me see yeah it was really bright in the beginning but now it's like set for a little bit and I think it's a really like healthy looking color um yeah so i got that i'm really i love this packaging i don't know okay i think y'all saw in the clip but this little blush came with a little sample too so then i went to innisfree and i already showed y'all the primer that i got um i got two more things from them this they're both eyeshadows and i used both of these eyeshadows today um, I will say I'm like really impressed with this one because usually I prime my eyes and um, I use a primer I put Mac lay and low paint pot and then I always set my whole eye with a cream color this one was really smooth and it just glided right on my lids this one I couldn't really tell like the full potential of it because I had the other eyeshadow on but it's still a nice color I ended up as you'll see um, getting this with my finger and putting it on but yeah, it was fine. I like it. So that's what I got from Innisfree. I went to was I don't know how to pronounce it Espor Espior I'm sorry I have no idea how to pronounce that um, so I got an eyeliner 
And this is in the color Choco Chunk. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me. We're gonna, we're gonna see what this video is like. Um, I already showed a close up in the thing, but I'll show it again. So here it is. It comes with a little, wait, what is this? I don't know what this is. I think it's supposed to be a sharpener, but I don't think, I think mine's like broken, which is kind of unfortunate. But here's the color. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, this is a swatch of, this is a swatch of it from yesterday. I have washed my hands, I have showered. I haven't taken a makeup wipe or like remover on this, but this is it from yesterday. So I'll show you all a swatch. It's so, like that, I was barely putting any pressure. It, that was one swipe. Um, it's a beautiful color. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I have it on my eyes now, which again, you'll see. And when I applied it, at first I was kind of scared because it kind of, it kind of like enhanced the red on my lower lash line so it kind of made it look like blood I don't know it at first I thought it made it look like blood but then again once it set in just a bit um, I actually like it and I also like saw this in a video as a recommendation saying that it was amazing and waterproof and wouldn't budge and everything on my waterline smudges except for um, the Japanese eyeliner so I wanted to see if this was worth it and this one was kind of expensive this one was uh, about like 16 US dollars um, it was a it was like 18,000 won I think but I'm excited to see how this wears so I like it I went to was Club Cleo and again this was a recommendation um, I ended up getting a liquid eyeliner and at first I got the black one but I already have a black one that I'm using so I was like I'll just get brown and see how it works and again not the not the best angle let's accept it's not a very good angle or lighting but I used it and I usually always set my liquid liner with eyeshadow um, the one I got from Charlotte Tilbury is amazing but I always set it just just I don't know just in case um, I decided not to set this one today to see how it wore but this is the color brown I don't even know if I mentioned it um, I want to talk about like the lid though okay so you open it this is what it looks like again barely any pressure it's a really nice brown color it's not too dark um, it applied really easily it was like it felt really weightless on my eyes so when I was doing it I like barely barely applied pressure and it kind of just glided on um, this eyeliner took like two seconds it was really bizarre but so I like this so far I want to see how it wears what I really like is um, when you close it okay I'm kind of pushing this looks like it has a little bit of resistance so you close it and you hear it click and I really like that because it really ensures that the lid is closed and you kind of have to like pull a little bit harder to open but you know the lid is closed and it's not going to be too dried out. My one complaint about my Charlotte Tilbury liner, I'll just get it for y'all. My one complaint about the Charlotte Tilbury liner is there's no click like it's so easy to open so I'm scared this is gonna dry out I love 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 this liner though but I wish it had more like resistance when you closed it anyway okay something else that came in here is I don't know what this is honestly it came with this long times curl fix so it comes with this thing oh I see I think this is a mascara Is it a mascara? Yeah. This is a mascara, but I can see a ton of fibers. I think it's waterproof as well, but I don't use waterproof mascara, so I'm probably gonna give this to my sister or something. But yeah, so I forgot, I don't know, this brand is Clio. Clio, I think. So yeah, we'll see how the liner wears. Okay, the next place I 
went was Misha. And I'd heard, you know, I'd heard some things about this, these brands. So I was really excited to get this stuff. Um, okay. This, is this the only thing I got? Yeah, this is the only thing I got, I think. Um, this is the green tea lip and eye makeup remover. And again, I saw this as a recommendation, like in a video and oh my gosh, cool. So you do like this and you shake it. I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited to try it. So the next place I went to was Nature Republic. And I got this really pretty blush. This is a powder blush. I haven't used it, but again, I'll probably use it tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm gonna insert a clip into this video or I'll just show you like when I'm vlogging. But yeah, it's a really pretty color. I wanted to try that out. Um, I also got this little tiny hand sanitizer just to carry around. This is the apple mango flavor. So let's see what this smells like. It smells good. It's not, actually, it smells really good. So I figured that would be convenient. Um, the next, excuse me, the next two things I got, I don't remember where I was. I don't remember the store, but this is the Melting Color Lip Creamer. And honestly, what drew me to this, which I'm sure is like, oh my, I don't know. What drew me to this was the packaging. It looks like a big crayon. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips. So you open it, you twist it. It looks like it's gonna be like really opaque and pigmented. Um, this is like kind of pigmented. It's not very opaque, which I really appreciate because this is such a bright color. Um, you will see in the demo, but I put it on and it feels really nice on my lips and it's like the perfect amount of color and I just, I love it. I think it's like such a pretty um, pop of color. So yeah, I, I really like that and it's so cute and they have different colors that like had a different character. I don't know. I think it's adorable. The next thing I got is from the same brand. It's a watery tint. Oh, it's called, it's a face shop. Yeah, okay, this is the face shop. And again, these lip um, tints, or like these lip products had little characters for the different colors. And as you can see, this is definitely like not very opaque. I'll do a little swatch. Actually, that is pretty opaque. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be more of like a jelly, but I'm sure once you like sheer it out, it'll look really nice. So this is a little bit of a deeper color than what I'm wearing, but I thought it'd be really pretty. And um, one thing that I think is like stunning, I'm, I'm sure it's a trend everywhere actually, but I think it's the ombre lip. I don't actually know what it's called, but it's where you have like concentrated color, um, towards the inside of your lips as if you were to like eat a popsicle so you have like concentrated color like red or something and then it fades away to nothing really on the outside and it's like glossy so i've seen a lot of um people wearing it and it's just i think it's like so pretty for some reason it's like really fresh looking to me but i figured like this lip t lip tint would be like a way for me to try and recreate it but yeah here's what it is right here um it smells good too like this lip oh it smells really really good so oop, and it's really cute so I got those next place I went to I don't know if this is the store actually I don't know but wait is this yeah it is a store I'm sorry I'm like horrible at pronouncing holika holika but first of all look at this what is this you ask um I wish I would have gotten a shot of Okay, this is really hard to open. Here we go. Um, I wish I would have gotten a shot of like the picture or the advertisement because it was so cute. So this, as you can see, is an egg. And um, this one that I got here is a peel. It's like a gel peel. So I don't know if it'll show. 
Oop. Okay. So it comes out like that. And okay, this is not working. Um, but anyway, so you use this once a week. The girl was telling me. Um, you take it on like your dry face. And you, you know, you rub around and there are little exfoliating things and it really like gets the dead skin off of your face. And then you rinse it off with water. So I'm excited to try this. Um, it's really hard to open, so I don't know if I'm gonna put this back on, but I just, I got sucked in because <laughs> it's an egg, like the packaging is an egg. So cool, I'm excited to try this. Uh, the next thing I got was like from that same brand. Oh, I didn't open this. Um, also James was like, he was sitting outside of the store waiting for me because I was just going to like every single makeup store yesterday. So he was waiting and, um, I went in there and there were a lot of people. So I kind of walked, sorry, you can't hear me. Um, I kind of walked back out, but he was like, you should try that egg stuff because I don't know. It was just like, it was so cute. And he was like, you should try it. And I was like, should I? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. Um, it wasn't too expensive either. Like this was 7,500 won, which is, I don't know the exact, um, I don't know the exact conversion, but I, I would say it's like about $6.50. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I got that egg thing and I saw this and I was immediately like drawn to it because it says lazy and easy, which I'm super lazy about. Also, look how cute this is. It's like, like I said, everything was, um, like this egg was, I don't like the mascot or like the face of the advertisement, but um, this says all kill oil to foam and I cannot read or speak Korean. So I assume this is just a cleanser. So it, 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 it reminded me of like the matte cleanse off oil. Like it starts with as an oil and then you move it and then bloop, bloop, bloop. And maybe if you add water, it turns like kind of foamy. The MAC one is more milky, but I figured I would try it just to see what it's like. And I don't know, like I just wanted to try a bunch of stuff. So I got that. I also got, I also got this um, lip enamel. It's like a lip tint. And the model whose picture was like on the, like on the wall or whatever was like stunning. So I was like, okay. And again, it's another one of these um, like lip gloss type thing. Here, oh, that's a better, I don't know if it's a better angle, but this one is a little bit more like orangey red, whereas this one is a berry color. Um, so yeah, I just, I just thought it would be pretty like a sheer gloss. Oh, so when I got that, I think, since because I bought this, they gave me like a free bag, which is actually like super, whoa, super convenient. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier, but when I was packing, I don't know how to open this. When I was, oh, here we go. When I was packing my makeup, my makeup bag, um, I left, you know, pretty empty because I knew I was gonna be buying a lot of makeup here, but it'll still be nice. So I don't know if I'm going to use this um, or if I'm gonna put like my sister, my sister's like present. I got her um, these freaking cute like Sailor Moon socks. I'm gonna put like a couple masks in here, some samples that I'll show y'all, um, that I'll show y'all. And I might go like makeup shopping again and get her a couple more things. She's not as into makeup as I am. Actually, she's not really into makeup at all, but she loves like clear bags. So I might, I'm probably gonna give her this and like pack her stuff in it. But I thought that was really cool and really convenient. Um, is that it that I got? No. So I didn't quite understand like what the lady was saying. I think it was like if you spent 30, you would get something off. I'm not sure. So I was at like 27 or 28,000 won and I was like, okay, I'll just get these. There were a few dollars. Um, they're little hand cream. This one, hand creams. This one is the Jasmine Bouquet and this one is Rainy Rose Tree. So again, I think my little gift kit for my sister and my friend is gonna be the socks because we were into like we were all into Sailor Moon like when we were little. So um, the socks, a mask, some samples, hand cream. You know, I'm just gonna make like a little gift thing. I think that'd be cute. So I'm gonna put these in their bags. So then I went to this little grocery store. Wait, what else did I get? 
Oh. Nature Republic. Did I already talk about that? I don't know. But I got this um, Nature Republic little lip tint. And again, orangey red, same thing. It's really cute. It looks like this. Ooh, that's a lot brighter than I thought. So, I'm glad I got like different colors. Um, this one is sheer, but I don't know if y'all can tell. You probably can't. It's like neon orange. It's like a neon milky orange. Oh my gosh, I can't believe, okay. I forgot to show y'all this with a Etude House. I can't believe I forgot to show y'all. This is like the coolest thing that I saw. So, this is um, a bubble tea like sleeping pack. And I think it's, I'll show y'all. Just, just wait, just wait. Look how cute this is. Look how cute. It looks exactly like bubble tea. It even has a little boba. Like, I'm such a sucker for cute stuff like this. Like, I'm a huge sucker. But anyway, this is the uh, bubble tea one, and this is the moisturizing and firming one. And it says black tea. I just, I cannot accept how cute, like, I can't accept how cute this is. I know, I sound crazy. Um, but again, so the directions say you use a spatula and you take some of this out, you get like a bead or two, and you like mix it up in your hand, crush the bead, so you like do the whole mixture, and then you put it on your face, sleep in it, and then wash it off in the morning. So I'm really excited to try this. I kind of want to give this to my friend because I know that like she's just gonna like die when she sees this because it's so cute. I kind of want to give this to my friend, but I kind of want to try it too. So I don't know. But I just thought this was like the cutest thing. They had a green tea one that was moisturizing and refreshing, and then they had a strawberry one that was um, like brightening. And yeah, so I should. I kind of want to go back and get them so like we all three can have them. But I just cannot accept this packaging. It's like the cutest thing I've seen. Like I just I'm obsessed. So yeah. Sorry, I spent like five minutes talking about that. This is um, by Etude House, and it's the bubble tea sleeping pack, but I just, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. And then we went to this grocery store. It was called like Pink Mart or something. Again, it was like really, really cute. And um, I got the Bombay Honey Masks. 10 come in a pack, so Face masks are really huge here, and I think in all of Asia, and they're like in America too, but this is what it looks like. I know that honey is supposed to be really good for your skin, so I'm excited to try this. And again, I'm gonna like divide some for like my friend and my sister. The last thing that I wanna show y'all is um, all the samples. I'm not gonna go into detail with them, but I just wanna show y'all the different samples that they gave me. So when I checked out, almost at every place like tossed in a few samples so I have some like lip gloss samples I have like some serum samples I have a bunch of these like little moisturizer samples I have the egg samples um, this is the peeling foam and this is the peeling gel so one is like a cleanser I have some like face cream samples and then I think I have some more like face cream samples as well. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for like the quality, it's not the best. I just had to show y'all what I got. But um, swatches again. I just, I really like it here. It's only our second day, but I'm so excited to eat everything. Um, anyway, this video is super long, but I guess I will see y'all later.